Nelson and the Dragon. <laughs> Nelson uh, is just this wonderful student. He's given me permission to share this story. So uh, Nelson came to me and he said, I want to talk about dragons for my presentation. And I was so there for that. How exciting. And what a fun twist. Not what I was expecting at all. But we're in grade 10. And if there are sharks in the water, is this safe? Or am I putting you out there bleeding, this, you know, or whatever, so that you're going to come and get um, chewed up? I didn't want that to happen. So um, Nelson was adamant. He was super excited to present. He would have gone the next day. He had a million visuals. He had so much expertise. He couldn't wait to get up there. But I suggested, okay, Nelson, let's think about your audience. How do we engage with this really authentic group, um, this really authentic performance? How do we make sure that they're not just listening and sitting back passively having to absorb this information? What can you do to make it fun for them? What can you do to engage? And so Nelson created a Kahoot and he got up there to present and he introduced this topic and it was a total mic drop moment. And he said, I'm Nelson. I'm going to talk about dragons. And I'm not kidding. The class so spontaneously started applauding. <laughs> it was just awesome. It was such a great thing to see. They were definitely not in shallow culture anymore. And he opened up the door for students who weren't sure about whether or not their topic was safe by taking this great risk and putting himself out there. So it was really an exciting um, community building, communication building, and empathy building process. Um, his risk paid off for everyone as everybody who went after him felt more safe and more comfortable to get up there and share what they loved. And so by the end, we just got to know each other to such a different degree than I usually do at the beginning of a class. And all because, you know, a student was willing to take this risk and found a way to, you know, develop the tools and the skills that they had into something that would be engaging for their audience. And what an authentic purpose, what a good reason to make these choices and make this game. So uh, if we think about um, the containers involved there, that was definitely a speaking and viewing heavy container. So we didn't just stop there. We read about dragons and we wrote about dragons. We read uh, Eustace Scrub from the Voyage of the Dawn Treader and how he becomes a dragon and how he unbecomes a dragon. And then we decided to look for dragons in our houses and see what those were showing us. And we shared pictures of the dragons that were living in our bookshelves and our Netflix accounts and uh, our siblings toy boxes. We um, definitely took this uh, to a next level when we did a representation map where we were illustrating dragons but also connecting the literal and figurative qualities of them. So this theme became a huge focus for us, not the whole semester but for most of it. Um, we ended up doing The Hobbit and it was something that was put out there as a risk and just became such a perfect fit with this, you know, why, why do dark and twisty literature right now this year? It's all about the fantasy, a lot of fun for escapism. So um, that those initial containers can lead you um, in a direction of student interest, student strengths, but also to notice areas of maybe perceived deficiency or things that they don't feel very strong with. And you can start to fill those gaps with um, you know, the containers that you have available to you with that inhale, exhale process. So we take them in and then we exhale the product.